Hi, I'm Quinn Gardner, the Emergency Manager for the City of San Rafael. I manage our Wildfire Prevention and Defensible Space Program. We get a lot of questions from residents about what they can do to adapt their landscape to living with wildfire. One of the best things you can do is help prevent the spread of any wildfire by reducing ember ignitions. Today we have a quick demonstration to show you how embers behave in different vegetation and what you can do to adjust your landscape. So let's go. There are three main ways fire spreads, direct heat, radiant heat, and embers. Embers are pieces of burning material that blow in the wind over a mile ahead of a main fire. Where those embers land can start new fires that can directly threaten your home. I have some different materials here to mimic the different types of materials that could be an ember on fire blowing towards your home or landscape. As you can see, nothing got stuck in this tree. However, let's take a look at where the embers landed. Down here, we can see them scattered amongst leaf litter and bark. If these, if these embers ignited this bark, it could spread fire across the landscape. However, because this tree has no low limbs and there's no ladder fuels or different plants growing from the ground up, even this low fire might just put itself out or wouldn't necessarily ignite anything else around it. We get a lot of questions about why bamboo is particularly fire hazardous. The challenge with bamboo is it's extremely difficult to maintain and all the leaves drop and form this perfect bed for embers to land and ignite. In addition, since bamboo is typically used as a privacy fence, it creates a continuity of fuel from one spot to the other and essentially acts as a net that makes it impossible not to catch embers. And when those embers hit the bamboo and drop, they're going to land in all this leaf litter. So for this demonstration, I'm going to use some dyed bark because I know how difficult it's going to be to pick this up. Imagine this dyed bark or burning embers blowing through the wind. As you can see, the embers landed in the top of the bamboo and deep within, creating a nest that will surely ignite as multiple embers are likely to get caught there. In addition, the mimicking embers are spread all over the leaf litter, which will easily ignite and spread to the bamboo fence, therefore carrying fire anywhere this privacy fence goes. Italian cypress, while prevalent in Marin, are also extremely fire hazardous. I have some dyed material here to demonstrate how embers blowing in the wind would land and impact Italian cypress. As you can see, the embers caught throughout this tree, and while Italian cypress it might appear green on the outside, it doesn't take much to pull it back and see just how dead they are. The, our mimicked embers can land in here and it would easily ignite as they nest, and then because of their height, they easily spread to other areas. Many plants can look green on the outside when in reality inside they have dead woody material. They also can be poised to collect leaf litter. All of these things can be catches for embers and easily ignite. Another plant we get a lot of questions about are eucalyptus. And while in general, healthy mature trees are not considered large fire threats, because of the na nature of eucalyptus and how they shed bark that creates piles, as well as the difficulty to maintain the limbs up, they can pose a risk. However, if you have eucalyptus on your property, you may just need to spend a lot of effort to maintain them rather than fully remove them. As you can see through our, again, mimicked ember demonstration, when embers hit the tree, some might get stuck in the bark up top because of how rough it is, but a lot of it will end up at the bottom. So if you can maintain the leaf litter around the tree, you drastically reduce the potential of the eucalyptus igniting. Here in Marin, juniper is another very prevalent and fire hazardous plant. Because of the way it grows, it again acts as a massive ember catch. So let's demonstrate using this dyed material. As you can see, almost every ember is stuck in the plant. Juniper has a really high oil content, so it's very likely that had those been real embers, they would have ignited this plant, which would have spread very quickly. Junipers are often planted along driveways and roads, making them extra susceptible to roadside ignitions. A simple dragging chain or cigarette butt could easily ignite this volatile plant with a high oil content and interior woody material. As you can see here, if this was one spark, it could land in this leaf litter that's accumulated and easily spread up to these trees, lighting other things around it. 
Anywhere in your landscape that you notice leaf litter accumulating, like in this juniper, is somewhere to pay attention to. Just like leaves, embers can gather in similar places. So clear out the leaf litter and consider adjusting your vegetation to avoid accumulating leaf litter or a place embers could get trapped. While all plants have the potential to burn, healthy, well-maintained, and well-spaced plants are less prone to ember ignition. Take time to look around your landscape to determine what might be prone to ember ignition and adjust accordingly. Together, we can all help Marin adapt to living with wildfire.